Hello, good evening. In this lecture, I will discuss copper metabolism and its relation with Wilson's disease. Number one, we have to know the dietary sources of copper. Especially, the most important dietary source of copper is internal organs or offal, particularly liver. Some there are also vegetable source and shellfish are also rich in copper. Why we need to know the dietary sources of copper? Because in Wilson's disease, we have to advise patient to avoid copper rich foods. Number two, we have to know the site of copper absorption in the GI tract. Uh, like iron and calcium, copper mostly absorbed from duodenum through divalent metal transporter. Okay. Number three, we need to know the transport of copper and the role of ceruloplasmin in copper transport. Ceruloplasmin is a plasma protein synthesized by the hepatocyte and it transports copper, it sequestered copper, so like transferring, it also acts as an antioxidant. And uh, tissue uses copper uh, as it is required in various biochemical reactions and also copper is a very important structural component of mitochondrial cytochrome oxidase and some other important enzymes as well. And in Wilson disease, there is defective or reduced synthesis of ceruloplasmin and one of the first screening tests of Wilson disease is serum ceruloplasmin, which is in most of the cases low in Wilson disease, okay? Number four, we have to know copper excretion and the role of ATP7B gene in copper excretion. Now, copper is mostly excreted by the liver through the biliary channels and the transporter which helps to excrete copper in the liver are dependent on ATP7B gene. So this is very important because mutation uh, through autosomal recessive, it's an autosomal recessive disorder where mutation of this ATP7B gene results defective or impaired copper excretion through the biliary system which uh, in consequence result increased urinary copper excretion and this increased urinary excretion, 24 hour urinary excretion of copper is a very important screening test to diagnose Wilson's disease. Okay, And if we would like to confirm Wilson disease by genetic, uh, genetic test, ATP7B gene, ATP7B gene mutation can be tested though uh, unlike hemochromatosis, this genetic test is difficult and is not in routine clinical practice to diagnose with surgeons. Whereas in hemochromatosis, HFE gene mutation is routine in clinical practice to diagnose hemochromatosis. Okay. So, uh, number five, we have to know the role of penicillamine in copper excretion. Penicillamine is a copper chelating agent. And if we give someone, uh, say for example, a patient we are suspecting of Wilson disease, if we give him penicillamine, penicillamine will complex with free copper and um, you know, will help uh, excretion of copper through the kidneys. So in patient with Wilson disease, uh, if the 24 hour urinary copper excretion is not diagnostic, uh, we can give penicillamine and after giving penicillamine, if urinary copper excretion is more, this is also suggestive of Wilson disease. This can be regarded as a positive test as well, okay? Well, uh, next we have to know, like iron, we have to know the preferred sites of excess copper deposition. And by knowing this, we can explain the manifestations and complications of Wilson diseases. The number one site of excess copper deposition is liver, which in Wilson's disease, there are hepatitis, maybe acute hepatitis, chronic active hepatitis, cirrhosis, and hepatocellular carcinoma. Number, and you have to uh, remember that uh, in a young patient with liver disease, uh, Wilson disease uh, should be considered. Okay. 
The number two important site of copper deposition is bay, particularly basal ganglia, cerebellum and cerebellum as well. So in Wilson disease, uh, extra pyramidal manifestations, involuntary movement or choreoathetotic form movement are common and because of deposition in the cerebrum, uh, low IQ, emotional, disability, emotional liability, mental retardation are also common and because of copper deposition in the cerebellum, uh, cerebellar sign, tremor, these are also common in the and any young patient presenting with cerebellar syndrome or Parkinson disease or involuntary movement, of course, we have to screen, we have to investigate for Wilson disease. Number three site of copper deposition is cornea, particularly the dismant membrane. And in Wilson disease, uh, this, is this is a common clinical finding, uh, KF ring, okay, Kaiser Fisher ring. Uh, which is a golden brown discoloration in the upper cornea or limbus, upper cornea or cornea limbus junction. Okay, and uh, if you found uh, a KF ring, uh, 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 usually the patient uh, also have a neurological uh, complication or symptoms uh, concomitantly. The number four site of copper deposition is um, uh, free copper. Or free copper is toxic for the renal tubule okay and it causes proximal renal tubular dysfunction and it can cause Fanconi's syndrome proximal renal tubular dysfunction uh, may result severe um, glycosuria amino aciduria and even metabolic bone diseases as well free copper are also toxic for the red blood cell or erythrocyte and in Wilson disease you may uh, find uh, you may find um, Combs negative recurrent hemolysis. Okay? The other manifestations and complications of Wilson diseases are chondrocalcinosis, cartilage calcification, which may result pseudo gout, blue nail. Blue nail is also an important clinical sign of Wilson's disease. Okay, so the screening test of choice. Uh, in Wilson disease is uh, serum ceruloplasmin, slit lamp by microscopy to confirm KF ring and 24-hour urinary copper excretion which can be further supported by penicillamide challenge test okay and MRI can be done and MRI will uh, may show uh, basal ganglia hyperintensity especially hyperintensity in caudate nucleus uh, region okay and uh, you have to it's uh, you have to know also the MRI findings of Wilson disease and um, next uh, we have to know the principle of treatment of Wilson disease the principle of treatment of Wilson disease uh, are um, penicillamine uh, or other copper chelating agent like zinc or TNT hydrochloride. Okay, so and for further reading, I will suggest uh, you to uh, know the side effects of penicillamine. Know the side effects of penicillamine. You can go through the MRI finding of uh, uh, MRI findings of Wilson disease. Uh, that's all today. Thank you for watching this video.